Hello and good afternoon. I wanted to share something with everybody um, that happened this week. It's kind of interesting. Um, this week, I received a job offer from Avex Aerospace. Obviously, an aerospace company. Um, as a graphic designer doing remote work from home work. And the, uh, the pay rate was really exciting and interesting. So I, I may have applied for one of these remote jobs at some point in the last few weeks. Um, I am always looking for ways to work from home. Uh, during a pandemic, especially, since, uh, you know, safety protocols are difficult to enact and enforce. So, uh, you know, trying to mitigate the risk at all times. So I was really excited to receive a job offer or invitation to apply or take a test. There was talk about that, about taking a test via Skype which actually didn't happen. I've actually been interviewed on Skype through, through a video call with an interviewer who was in Italy, the country, and I was expecting something like that. I was expecting an in-depth interview for the onboarding process, but it did not have a video component. It was all, all text. When I looked up this company, it, it is a real company, and the names that were coming through the email and the text were real people that do work for Avex Aerospace, based in California. I guess where they screwed up is, uh, well, they this, this is a scam. We'll, we'll cut to the chase, because the pay was between sixty and dollars a year, which is really unheard of for this kind of work even for a aerospace contractor. So besides the amazing pay rate and the odd way that the interview went, uh, they talked about sending me a check to set up a home office. And they gave me an equipment list. And it was a very nice equipment list too. So th these folks have done their homework. They know the tools that are involved in doing this work. They know about Adobe Creative Cloud, they know about Wacom products, they know about graphics requirements, and they were going to, so here's the check. It's for $6,800. Now, you may think, well, this sent you a fake check, what's the big deal? Well, if I fell for the scam, I would take this $6,800 check and deposit it in my account. And then I would use these funds to purchase from their approved vendor list, which I have not received yet. I would show that to you if I had it, but I would like, I would have, at the time of, of this recording, I don't have their vendor list. Vendor list would be uh, fraudulent as well. It would be them. So I spend $6,800 or whatever, amount from this, it would go to purchase equipment that does not exist, so that money would go away. Because it's a bad check, I would be on the hook for all of this money, and my bank would freeze my accounts until everything was made good with them. Now, I've done a little bit more research. In fact, I, in fact, I, I, the first thing I did was call these guys. And when I called and said, hey, this is going to be a weird call, I apologize for the weirdness. And they said, wait, is this about a job, a remote job? And I said, yes. Well, as it turns out, I'm not the first person to call about the job. Then I looked up this address. This account is under Captain's Exchange, 119 Commercial Street, Bath, Maine, 04530. That address comes back to a tavern in Bath, Maine, I called the number on their website, and I answered the phone. Of course, it's uh, afternoon on a Saturday over there. 
the guy was in a hurry. And I said, hey, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a check with your name on it. And the guy said, hey, I, I've, yeah, you're the guy that called yesterday. I've told my manager about it. You can, you'll have to talk to him. It's busy right now. Well, I did not call yesterday. So that's more evidence that there are more of these checks floating around. They're not just using uh, this name. They're also using, I mean, this is a, somebody, this is somebody's bank account. So I don't, I don't have enough information to say that these folks are involved are culpable in a fraud um, but you know they how, how does your name get on a check get on a fake check I mean I guess these scammers are really good at their job they're good at lifting information from wherever they need to to accomplish their goals anyway it's a fake check scam and uh, the pandemic has probably opened up more opportunities for these folks to scam people out of money they don't have uh, because I mean think about just run the numbers if you send out a hundred of these and your return is only five percent you still you still make some money so I hope that you have a great weekend and you weren't scammed this week or ever. And I do hope somebody will find these people and make them answer for their crimes, make them get a better hobby like making toys out of cigarette packs. That is all.